We're back with the Hardball Roundtable. Susan, tell me something I don't know. Well, it's not something you may not, you may know this, but it hasn't been out there very much. Kellyanne Conway has not been brought into Mueller's uh, investigation to be questioned. Now, you have to say, is she now not now part of the, are they going to take away the Russian investigation portion of this investigation and stick strictly to obstruction of justice? Because you would have the campaign manager yeah. of the Trump campaign if you were Maybe really working looking way up to Kelly. But it's very yeah. unusual yeah. that she has I think that's there. fascinating, actually. That is fascinating. Zelina. Uh, former President, Vice President Joe Biden just announced two advisory councils for his Biden Foundation. One is tackling uh, ending violence against women. The other is focusing L on LGBTQ issues. Uh, and I, full disclosure, I am one of the members of the advisory council so on ending crazy. violence he's against women. Uh, he's definitely getting state of the art, isn't he? For yes. old politicians. But he's cared about this issue since the I know, the women violence, violence has women. been absolutely strong on that. Congresswoman. Uh, Chris, today is actually a very sad anniversary. 32 years ago today, the Challenger exploded. And I recently had the opportunity actually to speak with astronauts Charlie Duke and Jim Lovell and Harrison Schmidt. Uh, mm. With Bill Tucker, the interviews online, but uh, you know what? They're s still inspiring today. And one of the things we need to keep going is NASA, and the president I'm has expressed uh, a great interest. I'm with you. In and by the way, it. Tip O'Neill and I watched that uh, Reagan's uh, challenger speech that day Brilliant that Peggy Noonan wrote, yes. and we were both in tears. It was yes. the most amazingly powerful speech he gave. Among all his speeches, that was the one that got to me the most. And we thank you, Susan Del Percio, Zarlina Maxwell of X. Sirius XM yes. and former U.S. Congressman Nan Hay.